and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On today's edition, we look at a group show done by several contemporary artists to another one which brings together like minds to create art. Then a solo exhibition by an artist revealing his latest style. We'll have that and more in a moment. Art is a universal practice of life and humanities worldwide. A father can only chew for a child, he cannot swallow for her. Let's begin with this group show. Floor 19 is an exhibition at Art21 Gallery where they bring together different creative minds beyond artists in Lagos. In Nigeria, the term 419 has a negative connotation, but this exhibition of contemporary art and design at the Art21 Gallery gives it a different meaning. With the exhibition tagged Floor 19, the founder of Art 21 Gallery, Colleen Chogri, brings together works of art from artists, architects, designers and artisans into one space to feed the eyes of a teeming art lovers. I thought it was very fun to play on the, the term 419 because it's very Nigerian, so you have to be Nigerian to, or have a relationship with Nigerian to kind of understand what it means. And Abroad, 419 might be very negative, and it might even have a negative connotation here, but we also play a lot with it. You've been 419, the Euro 419, my friend, things like that. So I thought it was very fun to floor 19 something, but it being a very positive. The works on display showcase the talent, color, and beauty the African continent has to offer. We can get beautiful things made or designed in Nigeria. It's about your intellect. It's about how, how, open, you, how open you make your mind and what the various possibilities are. And that's the whole point of creativity. Creativity can come from a vacuum, it can come from um, an array of experiences, but it's by producing things that are not necessarily the norm or not necessarily things that exist already. And that's what makes it beautiful. I think that's really my motivation. Yeah, I'm really inspired by the sun. I think it's incredible, all the planets that it's created and all the different ways they are. So I think it inspires me to kind of go beyond my bubble into like more. Uh, we kind of focus on, you know, locally sourced, locally made, um, made in Nigeria. You know, all these things are made in Lagos here, handcrafted by artisans who we just, we find them randomly and we just train them. And you sort of, you sort of we're, we're empowering artisans basically so it's not just about the design, it's about um, development, it's about, you know, just changing the status quo, making things happen. About 20 works are displayed, not limited to paintings or sculptural pieces. I design um, home accessories, uh, namely lampshades, candle holders, vases, and I typically work with metal, glass and ceramics. These photos are an homage to a very great Nigerian photographer who's now late. His name was J.D. Ojekiri. And he, in the 1950s and before and after, he, he did a series on Nigerian hairstyles. It was called Hairstyles. And he photographed over 1,000 hairstyles. And it was after colonial rule. So during colonial rule, women started wearing more wigs and straightening their hair. So he, returned the, he photographed the return to traditional hairstyles. So, you know, he's now passed. All his images are in black and white. And one of my good friends was like, we were talking about it, and she said, what an amazing idea to revisit his work, but using all these colorful hair you can now find in the markets. My work is actually a, it's based on the Iroko tree, uh, which is 
actually a discarded uh, piece of wood, it's a sacred wood, which you find in, in different parts of Nigeria. So this piece of uh, this table is basically, um, it's, um, it's art and it's actually functional art. But what do the art lovers think about the exhibition? I love it. I love, I love the study of space. So I love how down to this furniture, how it's arranged. I love how this thing right here is slanted, right? So it, it's very interesting to me how these things come to her. Creativity at the best. I see a lot of expats, foreigners here who are interested in this kind of stuff. I didn't know we had an art deco um, surrounding like this. I just came here to just chill for the evening and a friend of mine said, oh, come upstairs. A friend of his is having an art thing. Everything's beautiful. Everything's fantastic. Nigeria is moving forward in arts and culture. Through this project, Arts 21 Gallery hopes to floor one nine more spaces, showing all the good the African continent has to celebrate. In another part of the metropolis, contemporary artist Nosa Umagwai is revealing his drips of color in his recent solo show. Revealing his experimentation with mixed media using acrylic oil and gloss paint, that's how the artist Nosa Umagwa describes this exhibition called Drip Season. The idea came basically from um, experimenting different styles and different techniques of painting and um, as I meditated and thought more about the the whole concept um, I came up with the the, 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 the the thought that you know the same way we drip affluence wealth the same way um, people drip all other kinds of things you know um, blood sweat tears you know and at the same time you know, that's the mystery of life. It all, is, it, it all happens at the same time, you know, and that's the, the, the basic reason behind the whole drip season. Over 20 images displaying diverse stars in paintings while addressing varied subjects. Some of the paintings displayed here today are strictly um, from the theme, drip season. Um, I have an array of paintings here, um, just addressing different aspects of drip, drip. Like you can see, I, I titled this particular piece, African Princess Drip. And you know, this just talks about affluence and celebrating the African woman. You know, um, there are other, you know, themes um, about, you know, Nigeria, Africa, because, you know, my environment influences um, some of the themes I, you know, I, I choose to paint, um, some of the topics I choose to you know, address as well in my paintings. You know, so we have things from, you know, scenes from a, a market scene, um, you know, just different variations, some abstract uh, paintings as well, you know, because I dabble into abstract art as well. This artist looks at the season society is grappling with currently where there are a lot of drips, be it tears, blood or sweat, and imagery he captures on his canvas. The main message behind this exhibition is um, celebrating, you know, um, different aspects of life, you know, just highlighting different aspects of life, you know, um, different experiences, in, you know, of life, you know, from the theme drip season, um, drip of affluence, success, wealth, and, you know, just how everything plays out at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's the mystery of life, you know, and um, yeah, that's, that's basically the idea I'm trying to pass across with my uh, exhibition today. It's not all about gloom, as this contemporary artist also reveals some happy moments, wishing there could be more of them. This is a very wonderful thing that's happening right here. Nosa is an exceptional artist. I'm not saying that because we are related. Um, it's just the basic truth. If you look at his work now, um, if you look at the graduation of his work from time 
you see that he has you know really elevated as an artist um, his concepts his ideologies you know really capture the essence of what is going on presently you know he's one of those painters that has that I've always followed closely because I just like how he uses his color he has bold colors you know he doesn't um, he uses colors raw you know out of so when you look at the paintings it's very it's very attractive very vibrant very rich you know so I'm I'm, I'm very impressed with um, Drift season uh, by Nosao Magbai. Spare a thought for those in need and try to change this season. That's the message dripping on Nosa's canvas. Now let's take a look at the works of art you sent in online and when we return we have another group show you won't want to miss that in a moment these are the works of art you sent in this week let's begin with this one which is called art brings you joy is a mixed media work done by Zubal Ismail Then Ario Adeyemi has the surprise, a ballpoint pen on cardboard. Fat Gossips is an acrylic on canvas work done by Elechi Williams. Illusion, done by Kingsley Gumka on acrylic on newspaper. Look into my eyes is Dari Popola's old and new disc at oil paint on canvas work. While Ibrahim Haziz has African drummer, a mosaic beadwork. Finally is this photography called The Other Side Smiles Too is done by Nkolika Anato. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming and always remember to put the relevant information beside that work of art when sending it and always put your best foot forward.